Hi, I'm Kate Loves Makeup or Kate Nickerson. I am going to be doing my three looks with one palette again. This time we're doing Baby Got Peach. Um, this is one of my favorite palettes, so I'm just going to quickly do the eye looks um, and skip my base just so people know. I'm going to go in with the color uh, Perky, which is this top one in the top right hand corner if you're looking at the palette. I'm going to take that on my Shot Miss A. This is the E130 brush. And I'm going to place that in my crease. And I'm not super worried if it goes above or like too far below because I don't use concealer to cut my crease. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is like one of my favorite looks to do because it's super fast for me to do it. I've done it like a billion times. Okay, now I've got Perky placed on both my eyes and blended out a little bit. I'm going to take this kind of flat fluffy brush and I'm going to use the color centerfold which is in the very center of the palette the middle row center and I'm just gonna take a little bit on that brush and then I'm gonna blend like the edges up here with it out so that it gives a softer look and this is just so that it kind of cohesively comes together um, it's more to just make the look less harsh and yes i blend up to my eyebrows i know that is like a controversial thing i know that some people hate when people blend up to their eyebrows but i do it because i've got hooded eyes so like when i look up you will barely be able to see the shimmer when i'm looking like directly at you okay once that is blended to your liking you can take any of the three shimmers um i personally am gonna pick get even which is that center row and it is on your left if you're looking directly at the palette. And I'm going to take that on a Shot Miss A E131, which is a flat brush. And the way that I'm doing this is I'm just putting it like I would a regular cut crease, but without using concealer. Um, I'm just not... I don't have time to do concealer every day, so it just makes sense for me not to cut my crease with concealer and it looks fine okay and then i'm gonna take that same e130 brush that i had perky on and i'm just gonna blend um to give the harshness like blend the harshness away basically i just want it to look softer than it does right now so yeah so i'll bring myself in a little bit and it just looks a little bit softer and then I'm going to pick up this big fluffy brush in E127 from Shot Miss A, and I'm going to go into Half Baked, which is that last shade on this row. It is on the very right on the third row. And I just kind of pack that color onto the fluffy brush. I don't use, I don't pack my color and then blend. I tend to like pack and blend with the same brush. Like I don't use a separate brush. And then I just go in in the corner here and blender out. And it looks really wonky that I'm just blending, but I promise that it will look normal on the eye. Okay, I'm gonna go pop my base on and my lashes and be right back. All right, here's the finished look. Um, I will include the base products that I use in the description box. I'm gonna use the same base products for everything, including my lips. Um, everything will be the same. Um, but here it is. I will be back with the next one. Okay, I'm back. Let's do the second look. Um, I put my base on. Well, I kept my base on. I just took the eyeshadow off. And I'm going to go in with my second look. And this time I am going to do just a three eyeshadow one. Like two matte shades and one shimmer. So I'm going to go in with Ochre. This one in the very bottom left if you're facing the palette. And I'm going to take it on an E130 brush again from Shot Miss A. And this time I'm going to place it just like almost all over my lid. Like my crease and my lid. This is a really simple one. I think this is good for people if you're getting ready in like 5 minutes or less. Um, because you can still do eyeshadow. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the shimmer Ready or Yacht, which is this center shade in the very bottom row. And again, I'm just taking a flat brush and placing it on my crease, like a cut crease, but without concealer. Because you know me, I don't do concealer. 
And then I'm taking my Carity E31 brush and I'm gonna go into Half Baked again, which is that outer shade. Also, if you noticed, I don't have that top center shade, um, Hungry Ghost, and that's because my eyes are allergic to glitter. They tend to tear up and get really red and raw, so I just don't use glitters. So I just popped that in my outer corner and I'm gonna go back in with this brush and soften that. Pop some lashes on and I will be back. All right, here's the final look for this one. This one was really easy. Um, yeah, I'll come back with the third one in just a second. All right, look number three. So this one is gonna be a little more dramatic because I picked some dramatic lashes. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop E129 and I am gonna go into Perky. I know I use that shade a lot. And I'm just gonna place it where my crease is. And then I'm gonna go in with this little tiny fluffy brush and I'm gonna take Ochre again and I'm gonna blend that out. I'm going to take my Shop Miss A E122, which is a flat brush, and I am going to go into Glaze It, which is this one over here on the right side of the palette if you are in the center. And again, I am doing the faux cut crease thingy because I'm lazy. And then I'm going to take this BH Pro Studio Pro Brush 16 and I'm going to go in for my outer corner in Half Baked. And I'm just blending it out in my inner corner, or my outer corner, um, and just going for it. Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to pop on some lashes and I'll be done. Alright, here's the final look. Um... That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.